and yes, welcome back to another video, guys. Now, that's right. Today, I'm back with another brand new movie review. And for that is for the new A24 movie, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. So, this film hit American cinemas quite a few months ago now. I think it was a solid two or three months ago. And it got rave reviews. And I was really excited to see this movie. Curiosity definitely had the better of me. I'd only seen posters for this film, like I hadn't looked at any trailers and I thought, I'm not going to, I'm going to go into this one completely open-minded. Um, I knew it was a multiverse movie and that's it. And then, annoyingly, there was like no showings at my cinema because Doctor Strange is taking up every possible screen. However, there was one unlimited screen in early access last night and I had to go, so I went to see it and um, yeah... <laughs> this is this film it is bonkers it is absolutely mental so this film is directed by dan Qu quain apologies if i'm pronouncing that wrong because i probably am and daniel sinet <laughs> whose name i'm also probably pronouncing wrong and it is about a, a, a chinese immigrant family who have moved to america and it's about them going through their day-to-day -day lives, their, everything that a normal family goes through. But at the same time, a multiversal um, catastrophe starts to happen around them. And the main character, being the mum, gets heavily involved in it all. I, I kind of had to wing a lot of that. <laughs> you could probably tell. It's such a hard, complex story to sum up. Um, and I do have a little bit of notes here, but I didn't even know what to do on the story. I thought, James, you're going to have to wing this on the review. Because um, the plot to this film, it is mind-bendingly brilliant. It is so complex and fascinating. And it's so um, open with itself that it leaves... It, it, there's so much that happens in it, but yet it's all done to the best possible way. It is told to you in the best possible way, where it doesn't become confusing or sloppy or messy, because that's the thing with this movie, honestly, if I saw this script put in front of me, this story, I would predict that's going to end up being one of those really messy movies, and it's just not, I don't know how they got away with this movie, how they got away with it being as brilliant as it was, um, the, the, the plot of the movie is just fantastic, it throws you from A to B to C to D, and the whole time you're watching and you're kind of just vibing with the movie, you kind of go, yeah, okay, I get, I get why we're here, but so much happens that I've been, it's going to take a few watches for me to take everything in because just so much happens in this movie. And I love how random it is. The film starts off quite serious. And of course, being about a Chinese family and stuff, they're talking in Chinese a lot. And then, of course, they start talking in English. And I, I didn't even, I thought it was a foreign movie when I went into this. And it kind of is and kind of isn't you know they talk in Chinese for a lot but then I think I'd say about 70% of the dialogue is in English so but at first I was like okay I'm gonna have to really concentrate here and the further the film goes the more loose it becomes and the more wacky the more you discover the multiverse the more weird it becomes as you can see on the poster there are people with sausage hot dog hands there's um a raccoon controlling a man and um there's like dildo fights in this and everything. There's some weird, wacky shit in this movie. And it had me dying with laughter. I have burst out laughing in the cinema so many times. Me and my friends were nudging each other multiple times because there's so much going on in so many scenes. We were going, look at that, look at that bit over there, look at that. And it is the most fun I've had in the cinema in the longest time. I'm trying to think of the last time I had this much fun in the cinema. And I can't, this might be the most fun I've had during a movie in the cinema. And I mean it. It is just so fun and bonkers that no one knew what was coming next. No one knew where the plot, where we were going. And it was just so fun and crazy like that. Um, the actors all do a fantastic job as well. And um, we'll get onto their characters shortly after. Um, but Michelle Yo, I think is how you say her name. Who... I haven't seen Crazy Rich Asians, but I hear she, I know she's in that, and I hear she's amazing. Saw in Shang Chi, of course, she was really good in that. But here, she gives the performance of a lifetime. She was fantastic in this. Um, and Stephanie Hush, 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 um, is also incredible in this. I don't think I've seen her in anything, but she was fantastic. She's definitely going to be on my radar. And I've got to say, Ki Hung Kwa, 
I think Quan is how you say his name, I, I, I think, is in this movie, playing the husband of the main character. And about halfway through the movie, I actually clocked it where I'd seen this guy before. I was like, right. He looked at the camera a few times, dead on. I was like, I recognise your face. I recognise the sculpt of it. Um, and then the way he spoke, he had, you know, he has quite a soft, high pitchy kind of voice. And I put two and two together and I was like, you seem like the right age here. You seem like, yeah, this this kind of is adding up. And I said to my friends afterwards, I said, I don't want to just say this, but I, I, I think that might have been, is it Short Round or Shorty from um, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? And boom, it was. I don't know how I got that, but I, I was quite proud of myself. I walked out like, James, well done for getting that. Um, <laughs> and he was great in it. Um, James Hong is in this, who's a fantastic actor, as we all know. Um, Jenny Slate is also in this and Jamie Lee Curtis is in this movie as well and she is fantastic she cracks me up she kills me she's so good in this movie um, and the characters themselves especially your main three you know the, 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 the mum and dad and the daughter the, the ending is so emotional there's a real emotional impact um, that this movie has and it's it's really quite beautiful and it's 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 incredible, I've gotta say. Um and yeah, the, the the cinematography was great, the choreography was brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and the score was also fascinating. There were little bits I was hearing throughout the score, there were a couple of bits I missed, like Ryan pointed out to me they play the always sunny theme at one point, and just some really random stuff like that. Um so I really can't wait to watch it again, just to pick up on little things like that. Um, which is why I'm annoyed my cinema is not showing it and they're giving every screen to Doctor Strange. God damn it, it's annoying. Um, but yeah, it, it, I can't wait to watch it again and pick up on all these little things and all the little things that were happening in the background. And I can really appreciate the filmmaking here. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think the Batman might have been dethroned for me for best film this year and I, I really didn't think it was going to happen. Everything Everywhere All at Once is a masterpiece. It's the best film I've seen since probably 2014. I think this film is flawless. It's my favourite A24 film now. And I couldn't be happier with how this film turned out. It is a mind-bending, mental, crazy fun journey. And as soon as this comes out on Blu-ray, I'm going to be buying it day one. 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 movie. I've got no faults with this. It's so rare I give 10 out of 10s out. Um, but this film is, put, I haven't got a fault with it. I, I genuinely think it's the most creative and unique movie I've seen. It's up there's probably, if when I think of the most creative and unique films, it's going to be in my top 10 ever probably at the minute. It is bloody amazing. If you haven't seen it, and if you've got the opportunity to go see it, I beg you to go see it. It is, it, you, you'll be missing out if you don't. It's a fantastic film. But anyway, that's it for this review, guys. I hope you've enjoyed as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message. And as always, I'll see you next time for another video. Bye-bye.